Meet Dirk. Normally, he's a dyed in the wool fan of VW Beetle convertibles. But today, he's going to try out two other small convertibles the new Fiat 500C and the Citroën C3 Plurial Charleston, which has some unmistakable similarities with the old Du CV Charleston. Both cars are clearly retro designs that recall old success stories, but they're also considerably less Spartan than their precursors. Dirk says the Citroën sure has come a long way. The C3 Plurial Charleston has the famous two-tone paint job of the original Charleston and the flowing rounded lines of the legendary Du CV, that homely yet sturdy small Citroën that was built for more than 40 years. In many ways, it was the French equivalent of the VW's Beetle. The Fiat 500 is even more similar to its 1950s ancestor, the tiny Cinquecento, Italy's answer to the Beetle. So let's join Dirk as he checks out what these cars can do. So. First, he's going to let the sunshine in. A turn of the roof switch is all it takes to open up the Citroën's roof. Unlike with Dirk's old Volkswagen convertible, it only takes one simple motion to enjoy that open air feeling in the Citroën. With a little more effort, you can also remove the roof supports to convert the Pluriel into a full-fledged convertible. A nice idea, but it is a bit complicated. On the road, the Citroën C3 Pluriel is a leisurely performer. Its 73 horsepower 1.4 liter power plant is good enough for a pleasant jaunt through the countryside. But this isn't the kind of car that wants to be driven fast. The suspension is extremely soft, another characteristic it shares with the old Du CV. Prices for the C3 Pluriel start at 21,940 euros. Not exactly cheap for a small car, but that price includes a long list of standard features, including air conditioning, alloy wheels, and leather seats. Now it's time for Dirk to park the Citroën and take a look at the Fiat. And again, Dirk's first move is to lower the roof. There are two settings, one with the roof pushed back and another with it lowered completely. The Fiat's 1.2 liter engine delivers 69 horsepower. Like the Citroën, that's enough for the city and the country, but the car needs a lot of space for passing maneuvers. Despite the engine's modest performance, the Fiat is a lot of fun to drive. You can really feel the steering, suspension, and gearbox, more so than with the Citroën. Prices for the 500C lounge that we tested started at 16,100 euros in Germany. That doesn't include air conditioning, leather seats, or ESP. But there's a huge list of available options that can easily make the Fiat almost as expensive as the Citroën. After driving both cars, Dirk is ready for our final question. Which of the two cars does our convertible fan like best? Zwei witzige Autos im klassischen Retro-Style. 
Sturg says both cars are retro designs that recall famous old designs, the Fiat 500 and the Citroën du CV. The problem with the Fiat is that the roof can be opened and closed only at speeds below 60 kilometers an hour. And the 1.2 liter engine with 69 horsepower is a bit weak. The Citroën Pluriel is the heavier, more powerful car, with 73 horsepower and a 1.4 liter engine. It also allows the driver to completely remove the roof supports, though they must be stored at home because there's no place to put them in the car. And although Dirk had fun testing the two cars, he says his favorite is still his good old Volkswagen Beetle convertible. Which just proves that there's something about an original that a copy just can't match.